And my father was a hard worker as well as a hustler. He was like a lead man at Pratt & Whitney. He also worked part-time part -time at a hospital. And he also sold barbecue sauce. And he still sells barbecue <laughs> sauce to this day. People still come to the sauce. Mr. Stuckey, can I please get a gallon of your barbecue oh, sauce? Please. People that have moved to Florida, when they come back home on vacation, they're like, Mr. Stuckey, I just wanted to come and, you know, bring about 10 gallons back. And, you know, some people have tried to go home, recreate it, add stuff, resell it. We just, we've been through it all. You know how it is. People try to bootleg stuff. It's all good, though. And um, my mother, growing up, you know, she would do hair. You know, you remember the little hot combs? You put it on the stove, and the girls would come over, and Mom Dukes will hook you up, get the net, get that kitchen, <laughs> get that kitchen in the back. You know, she would do that, and she also made cakes. She would make like wedding cakes, birthday cakes, and my mom was a really good cook, so she would make like macaroni and cheese, sweet potato pies, and people would come over and pick it up, pay for it, and bring it to their Thanksgiving meal. You know, people that can't cook, so they don't want to show up with nothing burnt or, you know, just bring soda and rolls. So that's what they would hire my mother for. And my mother actually had a stroke several years back, so she only has the use of one hand. And do you know that my mom still cooks? She still cleans. She still makes cakes. She still sells that macaroni and cheese. She didn't let it stop you because obstacles are going to come. That's right. Challenges are going to come. But you can't give up. And it's so easy to, you know, get depressed and uh, to think down on yourself when things kind of don't go your way. And I've been there. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you got to pull your own self up. You know, sometimes we're so worried about loyalty from other people. And this friend didn't have my back. And when I was going through this, this person didn't try to encourage me. Sometimes you got to encourage your own self. Yeah, that's right. Because right. right. if you wait around right. for other people that's to do right. it, you're going to stay in that room depressed. Right. And ain't nothing finna the pop up. <laughs> You know, my friends crack on me all the time. We were at a New Year's party, and I said, yeah, by this time next year, I said, I'm going to be married. I'm going to have my husband. And this girl said, yeah, he's going to be rich. And I said, exactly. You better, you better speak that thing. And so my friends was like, oh, but you're going to be like, he rich, but I want my own money. And how about this? I got this for two for five. They always, they call me two for five. <laughs> Too, when I was